My name is Simon Gold. I was a salutatorian at Florida High School, and I didn't get to do my graduation speech because I didn't walk, because of a senior prank that went wrong and other stuff later in the wall. Anyway, so I'm going to say for you real quick what I was originally going to say, but I never got the chance to. After all the troubles we've been through, who would have thought we would have made it this far? Certainly not our parole officers, and probably not us either. Wow, when I look all around, all I see is adults. Yes, there doesn't even happen to be a lot of parents here today. Anyway, first off, I want to thank the administration for the extra homework assignment I was given. So when I begin to write this speech, in senior writer's fashion, on the car right over here, about our journey through high school, I compared our four years together to a lollipop. High school is sweet on the outside, took forever to get through it, after many attempts of licking it, except until the end, but overall, we'll miss it when it's gone. All of us will look back someday, it may take 10, 20, or even 50 years, but eventually, someday, the memories, laughter, sweat, tears, and even the occasional bloodshed in the halls of the school will bring back, will bring back a smile or possibly even a tear. Starting with freshman year, just remember us, the new kids on the block. So tall, like what, three and a half feet? So pretty, especially with those braces on. I mean, and so mature, don't even get me started on this one. Every day before I left school, my mother would say, Simon, you are the most handsome boy out there, and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Remember all those girls trying to, trying to look a bit more revealing? since there was no uniform requirement. And all the guys trying to act all cool, even though they still didn't get their voice changed. Besides this Margerson's class, where a lot of you hung out at lunch, we were still pretty much considered scum, walking through the halls of Foothill High School, ready to get stepped on. As we moved into our sophomore year, conditions brightened up a bit. At least we weren't getting booed at the rallies, that is. For a lot of you, that's also when relationship drama started. <laughs> thinking you two were going to last forever. Also, I do remember uh, dog tags. Those lousy things, all rusted and rotten away by now. It still felt good to, go out, to get out of class for about an hour and go down to the gym and get them. Coming back the following year, we had the ground running as juniors, and most of us hit it pretty hard. Even though we weren't on top of the food chain at school, we thought we were. But what can I say? That year, many of us got cool with the teachers, started partying with the seniors. You know who you are. And we just pretty much got active in school. For many of us, that was the first prom we ever got a chance to go to. Unless you want to complete jailbait the years before. Many of us participated in the wakeathon, the tailgating parties for the football games, which we lost. Hey, but at least they were free. And pole building for homecoming, which we dominated every year. Besides freshman year, because only the girls were building it. And then senior year finally arrived. We all went through Ms. Wilson's strict tardy policy, the stomach rock in her class, though, as well as Ms. Ledesma's hard sense of humor. Are we real people yet, Ledesma? Are we? <laughs> Most of us cruised by this year, taking easy classes such as child development, becoming teachers' personal labor assistants, taking pottery, and other easy classes I don't know about. For crafting on just about all of our assignments, we were able to find a time and have fun while getting the grades we needed. Many of us also got our uh, driver licenses this year and first cars. Some already got our uh, first tickets and accidents, like Elizabeth, you was, and Rachel. <laughs> let's not forget. Let's not forget the times we magically, magically ended up at like Taco Bell, McDonald's, Little Caesars, Subway, which we reluctantly ate as compared to the delicious cafeteria food. Class of 2012, we had a long and memorable journey. Let's not forget to thank the administration, our first year principal, Lum, the jolly guy that made sports happen, Dibs, Mongerson, and Christian, who were the best PE teachers and coaches for a lot of us, Slack, who made leadership happen with all the school activities, Ms. B, who taught the girls how to stay in the kitchen. <laughs> Seriously, thank you, though. And definitely Ms. Machado. If you haven't taken the time to thank her for all the hours she put in into answering all your questions and requests, I'll make you stand up and take off around the stadium. Our journey was long. Look at us now, 
sitting around with a bunch of funny hats on. Our family's all proud. Matter of fact, this will be the perfect time to ask for money. We aren't freshmen anymore. We have brains now. We have exceeded all of the expectations, which were pretty low, so it shouldn't have been that difficult. We are the only class of 2012 at Foothill High School. If we do what I know we are all capable of doing, we are going to take over the world. Nothing, no one will stop us. We will spread our dreams everywhere. In the end, everyone will be like us. That's an interesting thought, isn't it? Just imagine thousands of little Joshua Gary's running around everywhere. Thousands of little Nikki Calimosos everywhere. Thousands of little tall Michael Bryson's everywhere. It's beautiful. We literally are the future. Today is the day to celebrate our journey through high school that we have accomplished. And I have enjoyed speaking on behalf of our class about all of our, all of our experiences together. Thank you.